Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the development of this um, this new little Wago and driver holder. So I started off with drawing a rectangle. Now, just obviously, I'm just showing you this. I've already done all of this. So I'm just going to just show you, walk you through it. Um, anyway, so we've added the little thins um, to hold the actual driver in place, and then some um, top set top sections that are actually little grippers that come over. Um, I did some lines for the uh, Wago holders, only meant to be there. Now what happened with this is, I did actually draw it this side, and I modified the drawing and they got stretched across, so I just had to remove them, um, which was interesting. Um, and then I added two holes to actually fix into the bottom of the um, of the whisker box. So, if you have a look at this whisker box, you see these got these um, hole positions at the back. Um, so I tried to line up with that. They were quite difficult to measure with calipers, because trying to get the caliper down inside this is quite difficult. Anyway, um, once all said and done, all finished, I'll just remove the sketches, that is what it looks like in 3D. So as you can see, um, the driver just literally pushes into here, slots in there. Um, these little holders will take Wagos of, uh, two, two, one Wagos of all sizes, so two way, three way, or three pole and five pole. Um, and then there needs to be two, two screws supplied to get that in. Um, so we're going to see how the print's going. So we've just come down and this is now finished. It's just come off the off the printer. Um, so it just needs a little bit of clean up and let's go see how it all fits together. Okay, so here we have the holder itself. So as I say, this will go inside here. And if I line this up, you can see it lines up perfectly with those two holes. Uh, whether or not you can get them in the other ones, no you can't, it has to be those two middle, but it can be orientated that way as well. It's a square box after all. Uh, so the driver. So what we've really designed this round is, um, so Saxby does a 20 watt driver, um, I think it also comes in a 14 watt and it's exactly the same body. Um, All Light also sell their drivers in this body, so clearly, and this one's Fotec, um, so clearly these are made by one Chinese manufacturer somewhere and just rebranded for everyone. So this is just meant to clip in like that, there you go, just clip straight in and that can slide as you need to, and then your way goes, you just literally pop them in just like that. So that is beautifully, beautifully simple. Um, oh, you can, have, you, can, you can have it like that. I've accidentally put it in like that. Um, I mean, I expect them to be like that. They're nice and tight, so your your cables aren't gonna just pull them out. Um, so by the time, by the time that is in here, that gives you an idea. So you know you can come in with your glands, SWA, whatever. Um, you've got three positions to do your, you know, line neutral and earth. Uh, sorry, line neutral and circuit protective conductor, not earth. <laughs> yeah. Anyone wants to pull me up technical on that? Um, and then you've got two more spare for um, ELV. Now I suppose if you're also being technical, there might not be enough separation between um, between uh, the LV um, supply, i.e. 230 volt, and the ELV supply, the um, sub 100 volt DC. Um, so, but I mean, it's in the same enclosure. Is it really a problem? Not really, um, but I could easily just put two connectors a bit further over and give us a bit more separation. I had thought about, you know, like actually labeling in here, but at the same time, I didn't want to limit what people are going to use these for. So, although obviously they should be used for one purpose, um, but that's the idea. We'll see. Well, this probably won't be the last iteration of this, um, but I imagine it's going to serve the, serve a purpose really, really nicely and um, make a really nice job for someone. So, as standard, what we do is we laser mark the, um, the SWAs. So, here we go. And that's just with a um, particular company's name, MNIC Electrical. We also mark a cable tie loop on the back side. It just tells you that you can loop the cable tie to secure the, um, the SWA. Okay, so there we have our SWA topper with a 1010 adapter plate. Um, we only, when we do a bundle, we only laser one part of it, just because there's no need to laser everything else. So now we're going to get the, um, the box on there. This is completely and utterly the wrong screwdriver, but... So what happens when you get the plates, they, came, they come with these M4 screws. Um, so you need to just line up the corner, corners, drop your screw down there. Um, and I really probably need two hands for this. Um, no, it's, I think it's going in. Uh, maybe it's not. Um, yeah, basically screw all four corners in. I'll come back to you when I've done it. 
So there's your box attached. So that's on there. Um, so that will go in the ground um, and allow you to have your box, you know, like nicely off the ground. Um, the idea is it goes up to the ground level, comes, comes up to here, which gives you that much clearance for your um, SWAs, etc. Um, and then they can be cable tied at the bottom here and here if they need to be. Um, so next bit is to get the driver uh, adapter plate in. Right. So for anyone, um, anyone really keen eyed, you'll notice that the screw is probably the wrong screw in this. We're going to find um, some the, the right screws for this. However, look at this. So it just gives you a perfect, neat solution to be able to fit a driver and keep it away from the bottom of the box and keep your Wagos in there and everything. So um, yeah, I mean, hopefully this is something that's really going to serve people and do you know like do exactly what you want to do. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's a really nice, neat solution. So it just just about fits in the 1010. Um, this driver will push left slightly, so you can actually get your connections in on the right side. Um, it's just because this screw sticking up out of the way. But yeah, I mean that's that's basically it now. So um, if this had the right screws on it, you know we could just um, once it's all wired up, we just stick our lid on, and uh, away we go. Um, yeah. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are of this. Um, put the comments below and let me know if you think it's absolutely great. If you think there's anything you think we can improve on, I'd really love to hear from you. As you know, we build it, design it and everything all in here in-house. Um, if um, you think it's dumb, well, you know, just let us know, say. But um, hopefully this is something that will serve some people out there and um, you know it'll be really really useful um, and I want to say um, hopefully we get some more content like this out um, I'm sorry about the morning meeting videos if that's not your thing um, we put them up um, as part of our transparency process to protect the QBR which is our Queen B role and also because we get some great feedback from like lean groups etc about how to improve and that's what we're all about here we want to get better and better and better and sometimes the best way to get better is from outside opinions rather than stuff inside anyway have a lovely day, guys. We'll see you soon.